And Shalom, Mr. Brother Azariah from the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Yeah. It's a debate right here. We're so real, which we didn't know who he was at the time. Walked up to our camp. And he wanted to go back and forth. He wanted to play his semantics. This was after camp, actually. Um, Didn't really know. Like I said at the time, it was so real. So had a way of knowing it was going to go uh, the way it went. That he was going to record it and all this stuff. But just, uh, there's a lot of things I can cut them on. I just well, I watched it last night. Woke up, hit play again. And um, he was going off on this part. And I'll show you the other parts. Uh, this is an hour long debate. Wasn't super long, but I just want to go ahead and cut them, man, real quick with this particular scripture in this particular case. And they first, and they will stumble back so they didn't force. Okay. Now, why? Now, why? He had to make a new Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I read Hebrews chapter 9. Is it, is it here? No. Okay, so then is Hebrew, is Hebrews 9 a lie? I know, so that's why I want to read verse 17 again to you. Okay, so then when you go ahead, then I'll read Hebrews chapter 9 so I can address it. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. For this call, for this is the covenant yep. that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Is the law done away with? Yes. Just the part I wanted. Well, before we get there, can uh, what? You ain't Christian thought, but it doesn't make sense. Uh, yes, I am. I'm giving you scripture. I went to Hebrews nine. We're about to prove an audience about the hearing. Uh, before you get there, can you read verse thirteen? You're in Hebrews eight, right? Can you read verse thirteen? I'm proving a statement. Can you read verse thirteen? Yeah, but I, excuse me, but you're not even answering what I'm saying. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh man, this dude, bro. He said he wanted Hebrews 8 and 13, right? <clears throat> so he says, this is what he tried to use, right? He tried to say, and that he saith, a new covenant hath he made uh, a new covenant. He hath made the first old, now that which decayeth, and wax of old is ready to vanish away. But that doesn't say that it does vanish away, right? For we know this. What do you how should I say, man? Think not. This is Matthew 5 and 17. <clears throat> Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He said the prophets. That includes the people that came before him, correct? 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, the heaven and earth still exist. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, they shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So, you know, that's what it is. We're not supposed to be doing those things, man. We're not supposed to be breaking any of those laws, even that came before, you know? We're not supposed to break none of those laws, man. None of the laws that were written before, man. As a matter of fact, watch this. What do you, how would I say? Down five. Oops. Extend to close that. John 5 46. For had ye believed Moses, he would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? So if Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ, says that Moses is written of him, right? But what's he talking about? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for ye wrote of me. If ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? 
I can do. Hey, look, man. He said, God is. He said, Yahweh Shai is God. Well, look at this. 5 John 5 and 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. You know? <laughs> hey, look. For as the okay for, for John five and twenty six, where as the Father have life in Himself, so hath He given to the Son of uh, to the Son to have life in Himself. So He gave it to His Son. This is why He's he, this is why He's uh, he, equal to the Most High in a lot of ways. But the Most High still supersedes Him and have given Him authority. So the Father have given Him authority to execute judgment also. Because he is the son of man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which that all are in the grave shall hear this voice, hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. He can't do, he says he don't do nothing of his own self, man. Of his own self, right? And my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me, man. You know? Then as the Yahweh Shai said unto them, verily, verily, this is 5 and 19, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. But what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son and showeth himself all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. Yeah, he's gonna show him greater works. Only thing Yahweh Shai doesn't know is when the hour is come, man. So that's just one portion, but yeah, man, this dude's wilder, man. Wilder. As a matter of fact, I had Revelation up and during camp too, right? Revelation 12 and 17, and the dragon which was wroth with the woman, the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the most high. He said, oh, see, let's talk about the commandments of Jesus Christ. Oh, look, bro. It says they keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And what's the testimony of Jesus Christ? <laughs> John 3-2. No, that's not it. The Revelation. Yeah, here we go. Revelation 19 10. I get it over here. <laughs> Revelation 19 and 10 And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. How do you worship the Most High? The spirit and in truth. Ah, oh, man. There's just so many. I mean, you guys don't follow the Apocrypha, but the Apoc Apocrypha ties it all together, man. But, you know, woke up and the Shield Squad, they mock at the Apocrypha. Like in this video where he says, uh, private eye for you, how was I, whatever. It wasn't really, no, that video wasn't funny, but. 
it is what it is. Vocab ain't really got no salt. But either way, man. Um, you know, what they was talking about first, Apocrypha and Idiomites. And, uh, you guys are, you guys have kindergarten comedy. But, um, yeah, man. The Apocrypha is inspired as well. And when you read the Apocrypha, there are a lot of scriptures that cut you Christians to pieces. And you guys don't don't want to use those scriptures. You don't want to use that because then you would have to change what you believe in. And ultimately, the Most High is not dealing with y'all for y'all to believe it. Anyway, y'all honor, glory, and praise is going to get how about Shemmy how was shy? The honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. That I say, Shalom.